No believers. Yeah. This sounds funny. The fact that someone pays Paul and writes, you know, there are some countries that before you get to anywhere, you have to fill a form. And there's a place to say, religion. So the fact that somebody claims Christian on the form does not mean that he's a believer. Praise the Lord. So a believer is someone that actually believes. That sounds funny. Praise God. Someone that actually believes that and, and keeps the commandment they dictate and behaves exactly like that person. In this case, our Lord Jesus Christ. So I say, as a Christian and as a believer, there's a reason why Christ redeemed us. There is a reason Christ redeemed us. It is not by our power. He said, even when we were yet sinners, even when we were yet sinners, but Christ died for us. So, God gave you grace, unmerited favor, grace that you're not qualified for. You didn't even know. You were, all of us were in sin. We were living there. We didn't know. Like the people that God is reminding us to go and preach unto. We were once like them. But Christ died for us. So there's a reason why he redeemed you. God saw something in you. He saw something in Saul. Saul was the greatest, one of the greatest enemies of the body of Christ. God saw the zeal in him. God said, look, this man that is, that is persecuting my people, this man, this, this type of enemy, if I can change him and make him face the other direction, it will be good for me. So there was a purpose. And today, hardly would you hear a preacher preach without making reference to former Saul, Paul. Praise the Lord. So there's a reason why we are saved. Why we are redeemed. Our mission is to ensure the salvation of all the people around us. This is the mission. This is what we have to do to make sure that everyone around us is safe. As many people around, you don't need to force them with time. And that is why it is always advisable as a Christian. Your lifestyle is the first reference point. It's the first message. It's the mirror that tells unbelievers what your religion looks like. So that is why your words, your deeds, your behavior, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you speak, the way you walk in your company can bring someone to Christ, can, can make somebody come to you and say, brother, sister, I mean, I would like to know more about you. And that's a good opportunity to say, I am like this because I'm a believer. So our mission is to ensure that the whole world is set up to the world. This is the heartbeat desire of God. This is the heartbeat. This is the heart. I mean, the heartbeat. This is God's passion. This is this is the desire of God that every nation will be saved. And there's a reward. There's a reward. As many as ever served God in the Bible, they are always rewarded. And Jesus speaking also, he said he's going to prepare a place for all of us. He says when he comes back, he will take all of us so that wherever he will be, all of us will be there. Brother, sister, there's a reward for carrying the good news. Be proud to be a carrier. Be a proud carrier of the good news. Wherever you go to, you carry the good news. And remember this. As we begin to close, remember this. Life itself is a journey and a race. It's a journey. You're on a tree and it's a race. So sometimes you need to run. Sometimes you need to walk. Life is a journey. We do not have that time. We do not have that luxury of time. And every journey that has a beginning also has an end. Think about this. You do not have the luxury of time. 
God is talking to you, he's talking to me, that I do not have all the time in the whole world. This is the time. This is the time. You do not have a lot of time to decide. Go into action now. I'd like you to turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, this is the time. Go into action now. Go into action now. As you're sitting there, let us to bow down our hearts.